Here is the first lecture on the Code of Criminal Procedure 1973. Today's topic Introduction Definition of Criminal Justice System The First Code of Law History of Criminal Justice History of Criminal Procedure in India Whether CRPC is Substantive or Procedural Law Constitutional Perspective Article 14, 20, 21 and 22 The Code of Criminal Procedure Introduction The Code of Criminal Procedure commonly called Criminal Procedure Code that is CRPC is the main legislation on the procedure for administration of substantive criminal law in India. It was enacted in 1973 and came into force on 1st April 1974. This code is related to criminal law. Criminal law is defined as a body of specific and definite rules regarding human conduct and behavior, which apply uniformly to all members of all classes of people and the rules are referred to in it by enforcing the punishment administered by the state. Definition of criminal justice system The criminal justice system is the process that seeks to control crime or minimize crime and impose penalties for the commission of crimes. The criminal justice system includes the investigation of offences and the treatment of offenders. The criminal justice system consists of three main parts. One is legislative that is create laws. Second one adjudication that is courts and correction that is jails, prison, probation and parole. In the criminal justice system, these agencies operate together under the rule of law. Here is the first code of laws. Hammurabi was the sixth Babylonian king. Babylonian was a place that existed in West Asia almost 5000 years ago. At that time, part of this region was called Mesopotamia and another part was called Sumer. Hammurabi was the first king to have the laws of the kingdom carved on stone and put up in places where people could read them and know what was required of them and he also thought that he was a rule of righteousness in the land. Hammurabi's code as it is called is on display in one of the world's most famous museums, the Lorry in Paris. Here are some of the laws from the code. If a man kills another man, man's son, his son shall be cut off. If a son slaps his father, his hand shall be cut off. If a person steals cattle or sheep or an ass or a pig or a goat that belongs to a god or the court, the thief has to pay 30 times the cost. The judge who makes mistake in law he can never be a judge again and he will be heavily fined. If a man builds a house badly and it falls and kills the owner, the builder has to die. The punishment for serious crimes was death. No excuses or explanations were acceptable at the time. Hammurabi's code is a large black stone about 2 meters high called a stele. It was discovered in 1901 by an Egyptologist in Iran where another king had taken it in the 12th century BC. It has 252 different laws carved on it in the Akkadian language. Greeks were the first proponents of national laws. It was formulated by Greek thinkers. It was the Greek who gave a conception of universal law for all mankind under which all men are equal and which is binding on all people.
here is the history of criminal justice the modern criminal justice system has evolved since ancient times with new forms of punishment in ancient times through the middle ages exile was a common form of punishment during the middle ages payment to the victim or the victim's family now as were guilt was another common punishment including for violent crimes for those who could not afford to buy the way out of punishment harsh penalties included various forms of corporal punishment these includes mutilation branding and flogging as well as execution here is the history of criminal procedure in india in ancient india kings with the advice of priests used to solve the cases of crimes in courts or sabhas and among tribes leaders of tribes settled the disputes of crimes in public under the mohammedan rule criminal law was being administered in adalat according to the holy quran The administration of East India Company maintained the status quo in the matter of administration of justice later with the changing times and administration the government brought changes through regulations there was no uniform law of criminal procedure there were separate procedures in presidency towns and different provinces for the first time the criminal procedure supreme court act 1852 consolidated the act in force in presidency towns later this act was replaced by the high court criminal procedure act 1865 the criminal procedure code 1861 codified the acts of procedure applying to the provinces and it was replaced by another criminal procedure code that is 1872 the criminal procedure code 1882 was enacted with the uniform criminal procedure for the whole of india presidency town as well as the provinces it was supplanted by the code of criminal procedure that is 1898 it was amended by any amendments act and remained in force for about 3 quarters of a century the amendments especially passed in 1923 and 1955 aimed at simplifying the procedure and speeding up the criminal trial indian law commission 1955 in its 14th report submitted in 1958 and four reports that is 32nd 33rd 35th and 36th between 1963 and 1968 suggested many changes in the criminal procedure code 1898 the indian law commission was reconstituted and was asked for detailed recommendation it submitted its 37th report on february 19 1968 The commission was again reconstituted and it submitted the 41st report in September 1968 based on the recommendations of the commission a draft bill was introduced in Rajya Sabha in 1970 and finally enacted by parliament in its pre present form as the code of criminal procedure 1973 act number 2 of 1974 on the basis of recommendations of the commission a draft bill was introduced in rajya sabha in 1970 and finally enacted by parliament in its present form as the code of criminal procedure 1973 act number 2 of 1974 though the code of criminal procedure contains both provisions of substantive law and procedural law it mainly deals with the procedure where it is applicable in trials appeals reference and revision the code provides machinery for the punishment of offenders and formulates the duties of the police in investigating an offence and prescribes the mode of arresting an offender it empowers the machinery to take the assistance from the members of the public to arrest the offender and in the prevention of breach of peace it also deals with proceedings in prosecutions and the procedure which a magistrate should follow when a complaint is made to him 
the procedure in inquiries preparatory to commitment the mode of recording evidence in inquiries and trials the mode of delivering judgment executing of sentences however certain provisions in the code are like substantive law substantive law relating to the prevention of offences and the right for the maintenance of wives and children etc are provided in chapters 8 to 11 of the code of criminal procedure 1973 coming to the constitutional perspective article 14 20 21 and 22 article 14 of the constitution of india equality before law article 14 of the constitution of india provides that the state shall not deny to any personal equality before the law or the equal protection of the laws within the territory of india the rule of equality is not absolute and there are several exceptions to it for instance foreign diplomats are immune from the jurisdiction of courts article 361 of the indian constitution affords immunity to the president of india and the state governors and they are not answerable to any court for the exercise and performance of the powers and duties article 20 of the constitution deals with the protection in respect of conviction for offences it provides that no person shall be convicted of any offences except for violation of a law in force at the time of commission of act charged as an offence nor be subjected to a penalty greater than that which might have been inflicted under the law in force at the time of the commission of the offence clause 2 no person shall be prosecuted and punished for the same offence more than once clause 3 no person accused of any offence shall be compelled to be witness against himself here is article 21 of the constitution article 21 of the constitution of india deals with the protection of life and personal liberty it provides that no person shall be deprived of his life or personal liberty except according to procedure established by law the 44th amendment act 1978 has amended article 359 of the constitution of india which now provides that the enforcement of the right to life and liberty under article 21 cannot be suspended by the presidential order here is the article 22 of the constitution protection against arrest and detention in certain cases thus it provides clause 1 no person who is arrested shall be detained in custody without being informed as soon as may be of the grounds for such arrest nor shall he be denied the right to consult and to be defended by a legal practitioner of his choice clause 2 every person who is arrested and detained in custody shall be produced before the nearest magistrate within 24 hours of such arrest excluding the time necessary for the journey from the place of arrest to the court of the magistrate and no such person shall be detained in custody beyond the set period without the authority of a magistrate 